Hey everybody, this is Brett and tonight I'm going to show you how to release your neck muscles and potentially crack your neck vertebrae. And I'm going to show you how to do that in three different ways. First, by using a foam roller like I showed you how to crack your back. Then by using yoga bolsters. Then by using a yoga swing and hanging upside down and massaging your neck at the same time. And these are all really great methods that your chiropractor is not going to show you how to do for obvious reasons. He wants you to keep coming back and spending more money. Now, bear in mind, if you have an injury to your neck and something more serious, then definitely go to somebody like a chiropractor or a doctor, get some x-rays or whatever they think is necessary to help you to feel better. All right, so first I'm going to show you the foam roller on the cervical region. <clears throat> So place the foam roller under your neck and when you start out with doing this, start out gentle. Start out pretty easy. And stretch your arms back and roll right on that upper shoulder area where people get this thing called a dowager's hump. And what it is, is a mass of muscle that's geared towards helping that person with a forward head posture. You see, when you get a forward head posture, you have to get a bunch of muscle right there to compensate so that it'll hold the weight of your head because it's for, so far forward. So really work that area and, and arch your back and then roll it down to the mid thoracic and crack that area. And if you need to, support your head by clasping your fingers behind your head. And then crack that, but then roll back up here and roll on that cervical area. And that will help to release, that will help to release the neck muscles. Because everything is connected. Remember that song? The leg bones connect to the hip bone. Okay, so the next thing is to place one of these yoga bolsters on the ground. Now these yoga bolsters are available on my website and I'll put a link down below. This is a neck bolster. And I'm going to butt my sacrum right up against the bottom of the bolster and then put this neck bolster right under my neck and release my muscles completely. Release my shoulder muscles back and roll my head on the neck bolster. And it feels really good and it's really firm if the neck bolster is packed well and tight. Now you can start out with it softer and not so tight and work your way up like I have. You can also use the back bolster if you want more support. But I kind of like the neck bolster. It fits better. Yeah. Okay. And you may hear it and feel it crack. The longer you do this, the more these muscles are going to get released. You can also 
take some oil while you're here in this position and take some good unrefined oil and work these neck muscles. Okay, and shoulder muscles too. Like I said, it's all connected. And so when you release these here, it's going to help to release these up here. Okay. So, the last thing to do is hang upside down. I can do this. <laughs> I'm going to hang upside down and massage my neck muscles at the same time. Now this is a yoga swing. Ah. Okay, so I got my bowl and I'm hanging upside down. I'm adjusting the camera. Okay, so this kind of an inversion is an excellent traction for your whole spine. Mm -hmm. and you can just hang and release. Hmm. I bought this yoga swing from Yogi Zen. <laughs> I don't remember his his website name, but he is he is Yogi Zen, and if you put that into a search, you'll find it. So now I'm going to massage my neck muscles while hanging upside down. I'm also going to rotate my head in all directions. And I guarantee you that my neck is going to feel better after I'm done doing this. And you see, the key to healing is taking the time, educating yourself, and then taking the time to do the job and do it right. And a 15 minute chiropract chiropractic adjustment, how long do you think that that's going to last? <laughs> Nothing good is that fast. Good things take time. Most chiropractors know that. But you see, they're trying to pump as many people in and out of their offices as possible. Uh, that's just not worth a crap. So anyways, if you do these three things, then I'm telling you, your neck is going to feel better. You might also choose to go to a great massage therapist, and not very many massage therapists are very good, but if you go out and you try a bunch of them, you might find one that is good. If you really like good pressure, get some Ashiatsu barefoot massage. They'll stand on the table and work your back with their feet. It's some good stuff. So thanks for joining me. Please subscribe, watch my videos, and learn all the different things that you can do to help to heal your body by natural means, not the drugs. Bye.